Hi, and welcome to Morning Coffee. It's a Sunday morning, and I'm in Florida. That's right, it's vacation. My wife, Annette, and I uh, rented a house. It's about 10 minutes from the beach. It has this great pool. We brought our children and grandchildren, <laughs> and that's all I've been doing is playing in the pool with grandchildren. Well, as I said, it's Sunday morning, so where did I go for worship this morning? Well, the nice thing is I went right here. Uh, you may not know it, but if you go to our church website at 9.30 on any Sunday morning, you can hit a little button that says live streaming, and you can participate. You can worship in the 9.30 worship service. It was great. This morning, I have to see David Hall do announcements and uh, baptize a beautiful little girl. Got to see Christina and the praise team lead, listen to that music wash over me, remind me of being present right there. I got to hear the Reverend Mary Thompson now newly ordained as a deacon in the church. Congratulations. Do an excellent sermon. It's really fascinating. You know, when we set up the live stream, we thought the majority of people who would use it would be visitors, people who wanted to check out our church, see if it was worth their time to show up physically. And we do get some visitors who come. But the majority of people who use it on a Sunday morning are people like me, people who are traveling away on vacation or on business, and they find themselves around the world, and they want to make that connection. It's really powerful to hear those voices, to, to see that, that sanctuary, to, uh, to be reminded that we are part of something greater than ourselves. You know, the church has always taught that. The church has always taught that by the Holy Spirit, we are connected with people, whether we're physically present in the room with them or not. It's just nice that this modern technology of the live streaming kind of teaches us once again what the church has always taught us, that we are connected, that that link of being brother and sister in Christ doesn't get severed when we're away, although we can feel very lonely sometimes. It's nice to be reminded that no matter where you are, no matter what the circumstances you're going through, you have a family, you have a church family. So, this morning I wanted to encourage you, why don't you use some modern technology and make a difference in somebody's life? Pick up the phone, call somebody who might be lonely, write an email, uh, get on Facebook, post something to somebody, maybe a shut-in, somebody in the hospital, somebody who has moved away and has perhaps forgotten what it means that there are people who love them. Use the modern technology in your life to make a difference and show somebody that you care. No matter where you are today. I hope you have a great day.